our white chocolate chips and vanilla and heavy cream have all melted together. Um, in our microwave here at the Way Cool Cooking School, it took about two times at 30 seconds. We have a pretty high watt microwave here. It may take you a minute and a half total to get everything to come together. Now, in your kit, we've got some purple gel food coloring. Um, this is good because the gel is really, really concentrated in color, so just a little bit will give you a lot of purple. So we're gonna start off and I'm just gonna kind of tap this here a little bit and just kind of do a little drizzle in there. You can always add more. And we're gonna take and I'm gonna stir this up. And really this is to the desired color that you want. So I probably put in an eighth of a teaspoon here and you can see that I have got a very beautiful kind of lilac -y, rosy purple color. And if you want it to be more concentrated, you can add more purple if you'd like that. You certainly can. Now we're gonna take, and this is very drippy and warm, so please make sure that you have a helper with you um, as far as kind of doing this. We're gonna take, and I'm gonna just take and pour right from the center of that parchment paper, this beautiful fudge filling into our bowl. I'm gonna use my spatula here to get all of that out of the bowl as much as possible. Okay. Now we're gonna take this mixture and you can either use a spoon or a spatula, but really it's warm enough right now that I can kind of just take and I can tap it. And the reason I'm doing that is all the little air bubbles are gonna come up to the top so that we don't have any weird bubbles inside of our fudge. And then I'm just gonna give it a little wiggle so it has a nice flat top on there. This is where the sprinkles come in. So we're gonna take and we're gonna add in, I'm just gonna sprinkle out the marshmallows first and get those to go on top. And then we're gonna add all of our delicious sprinkles onto there. So we've got all of these beautiful sprinkles. They are set all the way on top of our fudge. And then what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna just let this sit in the refrigerator for about an hour, or you can pop this bad boy into the freezer too, if you'd like, and that'll be a little bit quicker if you wanna eat your fudge a little bit faster. And then when it comes out, you've got this awesome tray of finished fudge that you can just lift that parchment paper right out and either break off pieces of the fudge to eat, or you can take a nice big knife with the help of a grown up and cut it into little square pieces. This is a very, very fun thing to wrap up individually to share with your friends and family. So that's our fudge, we've got all this done. Um, we are just about ready to take our cupcakes out of the oven. So this fudge project took about just amount, it's the same amount of time as it takes to bake some cupcakes. And then we're going to take and let these cupcakes cool behind me here and we're going to move on to decorating those and we're also going to make some beautiful delicious decorated unicorn donuts.